Mm-hmm. Good morning. Today we're talking to a lovely lady called Rain McBright. I know she should write books, shouldn't she, with a name like that? Brilliant. And like me, she loves the colours of her hair. Now, today's a bit of a challenge for me because my camera is in a different place to the computer. And all of you know that I'm always moaning at you to talk to the camera. So in my head, I'm not talking to her and it sounds, sounds really weird. Anyway, good morning, Rain. How are you this morning? Good morning, Bev. I'm very well, thank you. Good, How are good. you? And it's Easter holidays. So have you got kids at home? Uh, they're all over the place, but you know, <laughs> they're not at school. I got away with it. I had grandkids end of last week of the weekend and I was exhausted by the time we finished. Now, rain is one of my zebra corns. And if you want to know what a zebra corn is, you are going to have to go and look at the website, but I'll tell you about that later. So rain, tell us, what is it you do? I am a rape and sexual assault coach. And uh, the clue is in the title there. Um, I take women through a process that enables them to feel stronger and empowered they've experienced uh, because wow. a lot of women, they want to take the empowerment from that experience. They want to come out feeling stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, there are an awful lot of women who just carry on with it and go through their life and um, they're dealing with stuff all the time, but they're not coming out the end they're not getting that process of feeling empowered by what they've been through so yeah. that phrase whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger is only true if you've been through that process um, yeah. and you can feel that you've come out stronger from it um, so that's what I do I help them feel empowered by it that, that's a really difficult subject I think for most people and more so probably for people who haven't been on the end of rape or sexual assault. How difficult is that for you to manage when you're dealing with clients? How do you not take on some of their pain? Um, I don't, um, I've never really had a sense of uh, myself in the whole process. Um, I went through that journey um, almost from an experimental point of view, I wanted to see if it was possible to become empowered after dealing with all those things and a lot more besides, because I've always had the sense that I'm here to help people. I'm here to help women with this specific okay. issue. Um, and I simply have this ability to detach from myself. It's not about me. It's about them. It's about yeah. getting them through that process. Wow. Um, we don't go into the, the pain of the experience so much um, because the women that I deal with, they've got so far in that process um, where they've tried to help themselves and they've been to the therapist and everything else. Um, and they're literally looking for somebody to bring them through the other side, sort of put it all back together again yeah. and out the other side. So I don't drag them through that again um and certainly i've i've never had a problem being attached to those sort of things well that's probably a good thing to know because i think a lot of people would think that that and you have my lovely lady who i share my barn with has just walked in so we'll just say hello leslie hello bye. she runs hello. boutique in a bus hello everybody <laughs> nobody's been to boutique in a bus but that's something else i'll tell you about later so rain you are obviously a safe place for these women to come to because I suppose in my head, in most people's heads, we think, well, if you've been through rape or sexual assault or, or anything like that, you know, a lot of counsellors make you revisit that place. So I can't imagine that's somewhere where people want to go. So would you say then that you are really a safe place for women to go through that process? Yes. We're not going to revisit all that stuff. That can make you feel very weak and very vulnerable. And there's a lot to do with that process that isn't right. That's not necessarily the right process. Okay. So tell me how you got into you this. Can, uh, um, sorry, I was going to say, tell us how you got into this, because this isn't something most of us would fall into. And I'm not asking you to revisit your past lives, but just a flavour of how you got into doing this. I just always had a sense that I would be a counsellor. Um, or a coach and then I was you know I had the experience myself and most women experience rape or sexual assault between the ages of 19 and 25 
because you're young and you're vulnerable and you're the yeah. ideal target. So when it happened to me, I just thought, right, this is probably what I'm meant to be doing. I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to counsel women. When I experienced counseling myself, um, many times, in many different ways with different counsellors I realised that it just wasn't the right process it dealt with one part of the fragment that you happen to be in and it wasn't in no way did it bring you out the other side feeling complete and then I did self-help books um, and I basically then got a sense of what I needed 16 years really on a sort of a working project if you like yeah. on myself um, figuring out what I needed to come out the other side feeling stronger because I kept thinking well it hasn't killed me why don't I feel stronger what yeah. do I need to do and that, yeah that flipping phrase that gets bandied about so easily and yeah. there's, there's there's no shortcut to it in a sense but there is a path that you can take that gets you there yeah and it really involves coaching coaching is far more wrestling counseling really does make you feel vulnerable and it's it's not really the right thing there is a place for emotional processing mm. when something like this has happened to you um, but even that I'm working on I'm I'm going to combine it with hypnotherapy so that in the future I will actually do the emotional processing stage wow. uh, be brought in quickly when somebody experiences something like this usually yeah. what happens is someone's raped or sexually assaulted and they can't talk about it to anybody the structure simply isn't set up so yeah. they spend years, years and years dealing with it themselves so I'm going to change all of that. I'm going to change how rape victims are perceived and how they're treated. Um, and at the moment, what I offer is, is this sort of polishing, you know, finding the diamonds in the coal, yeah. figuring out who that person is now, now that they've been through this um, for years and they've been dealing with it. They will have gained so many skills that they're not even really aware that they've got and they get some brilliant tools to, to them just deal with everyday life is just hard anyway and when you've yeah. got that sat on your shoulders it's even harder so it's just about just releasing somebody from that and saying it just doesn't need to be that way and i think everybody thinks it does and it doesn't so no. so in a way you've taken what is you know for, for any woman one of the worst things that could happen let's be fair and turned your experience into something in a way quite positive that you can take forward and work with other women and do you see other women being able to take that horrible horrible sort of thing and turn it into something positive is that what you're aiming at yes it's um because i think there's a there's a general sense that why should you feel fantastic after something like yeah like that's happened you're done, but you can you're entitled to if anything you're more entitled to feel fantastic now Absolutely. Um, if, you know you come through all that um you've got to feel good about that you've got to yeah. feel good about the journey you've been on and who you are now the woman that you are now is yeah. is actually somebody quite incredible because you've been pulling yourself through that you know it doesn't have yeah. to be we're not weak you know if you've come through that no the opposite of weak i'm the strongest person i know and all my friends would agree with me because they haven't been through that process where they've taken themselves completely apart and put themselves back together again because it takes something devastating yeah. to do that and if you haven't been through that process then you just won't have an inkling of, of you know how yeah. to get through stuff you, you come up with your own tools your own coping strategies without even being aware of it so that's yeah. what my program does. It makes the woman aware, look, you can do this, this and this, you've done this, this and this. And, but it's far more, I mean, we really give that woman a foundation to go forward on um, and just make her aware of just how incredibly powerful she is now. And it's about turning the tables because the person that did that to you, mm. they're the person that is this big. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And yet, it, because it's a scary thing, we see the perpetrator as, as being the scary person, but they're not. They're tiny, you know? They're, they're a horrible person who... <laughs> they're nothing to be they're maggots. afraid they're nothing to be maggots. of. <laughs> that person is broken, and, yeah. and you're not. You know, you can get really strong from that. Yeah. Um, it's happening what you're going to do with it I, I can tell you you're going to you're going to turn it into something good you're going to turn it into a gift for you and 
that sounds counterintuitive, but that's because society feeds you something completely different and it's just looked at in all the wrong way. Well, I have we're to say, cast now, you know, that's what I, I find your approach to this so inspirational. Um, I haven't been through that, so it's always difficult to, to really understand. It, it's one of those things. But I have to say to all of you out there that I find Rain's approach to this and how she lives her life really inspirational. I shouldn't tell her that, really, because she'll get beheaded and her hair will get even bluer. But she is. So, Rain, what is it you... Well, how can people contact you if they, they want to work with you? or uh, they just want to chat through how you can help them? What's the best way for them to contact you? At the moment, in all honesty, on Facebook, under Ray McBride. Fine, I will make sure the links are there. I'll put all the links to her. Um, and I have to say this because I understand, Rain, that it isn't a case that you will work with anybody, is it? That there's a criteria that you, if I understood that right from the last time I spoke to you? Yeah. Yes, I work with women who have tried to get themselves through it. Right. So they have tried the self-help books and they have tried the therapy and they've made all those efforts. Um, simply because this particular programme doesn't deal with the processing so much. It doesn't go in, it's not involved okay. in yeah. the detail. Because okay. um, we don't need the detail. We're getting out of that. So I work with women basically who consider themselves strong enough um, to have carried on with it and, and don't want to be made vulnerable again. They just want that empowerment at the end of it. Yeah. So that's who I deal with. Brilliant. And, and I love that because I'm all about us women standing in our power and sometimes our power comes out of the shit that we may have been through. So I'm going to um, share this video with anybody and everybody because I think all women need to have this message. I want you all to support Rain, even if it's just liking a page at this stage, but if you want to talk to her and, and you want to know more about the work she's doing, I'll make sure that the Facebook link is there and you can personal message her and everything else. So, Rain, I want to thank you so much for chatting to us today. It's not an easy subject. And I know I'm sometimes a bit goofy, but this subject keeps us grounded in what some people go through. So I want to say thank you. And I want to you. say, yeah. everybody go and find Rain and follow her and follow her blogs because she's amazing. And is there anything else you want us to know about you, Rain? Um, I am qualified in what I say I can do. I, you can see some of the certificates behind me. So I know how I wanted to deliver it. And then I got the qualifications in order to deliver it. So um, flim flam course. This is proper one-to-one -one coaching with my time. And Excellent. yes, I'm highly qualified. This is a lady who's been there. She's walked in your shoes. She's read the book. She's having to write the book. You've got the t-shirt and all the certificates to go with it. So this is a really authentic way for you to, to work through some of those issues. So I'm going to say thank you for now and goodbye. And hopefully um, you, Rain will be back another time to talk about a, a bit more about her programme. So bye. Love to. Bye. Bye. And I'm here to turn it off before I...